everyone. Welcome to today's edition of Have a Coke and Tea with the Society, uh, showcasing our members. Today we have a special edition uh, introducing our interns of the Japan America Society of Georgia. We are here with Miss Naomi Huaman and Miss Ebony Gore. Hello, Naomi. Hello, Ebony. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I really appreciate you taking the time. But um, it'd be great to get you know a, a little bit better. So let's let's get started. Uh, so Naomi, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what type of work you do. Well, I'm Naomi Human. Um, I study in the University of North Georgia, and I study international affairs with the East Asia concentration. Um, I was an intern since uh, January, and I, I really like working um, for JSG. I usually um, work with the social media promotion um, and also uh, flyers. Great. Well, I know um, University of North Georgia, UNG, uh, Dr. Nishio recently won the Teacher of the Year Award. So um, congratulations. She's great. Ethan. Um, I know that's a, a thriving Japanese uh, program. So, but yeah. Oh, Ebony, uh, now on to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what kind of work or what kind of studies do you do? Hi, everyone. My name is Ebony. Um, I am currently a senior at the University of Georgia. My major is Asian Languages and Literature with a Japanese language concentration. Um, and um, I've actually been an intern with the society. Actually, my internship started in July of 2019 and went until um, January of this year. But um, since March, actually, I've been still working with um, the society, just doing um, kind of random projects and whatnot. So. Good, good. Well, we're so happy that you're continuing on even after your official internship and uh, look forward to continue working together. Um, but Naomi, on to you. Uh, next question is, um, you don't look Japanese, right? Um, but I know you have um, uh, kind of a, a unique upbringing too, but how did you first get connected to Japan? Uh, well, I lived in Peru for about 10 years, um, and there's a big um, Japanese population in Peru. Um, there's also a big um, association, the Japan Peruvian Association in Peru. Um, my mom used to like um, me going there because they'll have free activities like free origami um, or like how to make sushi or stuff like that. And so I, from a young age, I was um, aware of Japanese culture and like fell in love with it. So once I came back to the States, I wanted to continue that um, studying about Japanese culture and language. Great. That, that's such an amazing story about um, how you have, I guess, trilateral upbringing between Peru and, uh, and then with an interest in Japan because of the, the number of Japanese people living in Peru. Uh, so uh, that's amazing. So hopefully you can kind of use all of that um, in your career path uh, moving forward after graduation. But um, Ebony, same question for you. Um, so how did you get first connected to Japan and how did you get interested in Japanese culture? Um, so actually as a little girl, I think at the age of seven was my very first time at Japan Fest when it was held at Stone Mountain Park. And then I think over the years, I kind of forgot about Japan Fest. I hadn't been going. And then um, once I started taking Japanese in university, um, my professor at Georgia State Perimeter College, she actually got tickets for um, her classes for us to go back to Japan Fest. And through Japan Fest, I actually heard about the Japan American Society. I saw your table there and started going to things like um, Nihongo Egokai, um, our Japanese English conversation table. So through that was how I started to really um, be connected with um, Japan-U.S. relations. Nice. Well, I'm so glad that you came to Japan Fest and that was a kind of a, a gateway into Japan Japanese culture for you. Uh, Naomi, um, so you talked a little bit about um, growing up in Peru, but can you um, talk a little bit more about what was it like growing up there? And um, I know you kind of you moved to the United States uh, after that too, but tell us a little bit about kind of um, you growing up in two countries. Well, half of my life was always in the U.S. and half of my life was in Peru, so there was always that in between of like 
um, cultures. Um, it was really like a, a hot pot of just cultures because in my Peruvian side, um, my mom is also Chinese. And then I also love uh, Japanese culture and then, um, and then my native side also. And then here also with the variation of people uh, that there is, um, you just learn a lot. So that's what fascinated me about um, cultures here, especially in East, East Asian cultures. Um, that's, that's great. Ebony, same question for you. Um, tell us about kind of how you kind of grew up and um, are you originally from Atlanta? Tell us about kind of how, how you were brought up. Um, so yeah, I'm originally from Atlanta, like born and raised. Um, you know, as a child or just throughout my life, actually, I've always been, um, you know, into different cultures. Um, my mom and I both like, you know, food from different cultures. And so um, being interested in Japan and Japanese culture um, isn't really anything, I guess, out of the blue, but just um, I think that sort of interest into international cultures for me has, um, you know, has been able to bring me so much, I guess, quote unquote, success and um, into my Japanese studies and, um, you know, just being able to uh, really, you know, be good with the Japanese language, make more friends and whatnot, so. Good. Well, by the way, uh, this is have a Coke and tea with the society. So I'm enjoying uh, a nice, refreshing power aid, courtesy of the Coca-Cola company. What about you guys? Naomi, what are you drinking? I got actually the um, Peruvian National um, Coke, which is uh, Inca Cola. Inca Cola. All right. What, what's Inca Cola? It's actually a Coca-Cola product, right? Yes, it's actually a Coca-Cola product. Um, the top two products that are um, in Peru is actually Inca Cola and Coca-Cola. So they merge together. <laughs> All right. Nice. Ebony, what about you? What are you drinking? Um, I'm actually drinking some hojicha by, um, made by Ito Eng, so. Good. Nice and healthy and refreshing, right? Right. Well, good. Um, well, moving forward, um, so what do you guys enjoy most about, um, kind of work and interning with the society? And what's the most challenging, too? Naomi? Well, I really love the interaction with other people, getting to know um, so many people that are um, members and um, members in our uh, association. It's like, it, it really gets you out of your comfort zone. Maybe I'm not much of a talker, but um, because of all these people, I get to get to know um, something else about them and then I get to expand my knowledge about um, like the companies and um, the restaurants and all, all the members that are there. Nice. What about you, Ebony? Have, what have you enjoyed about interning with the society the most? I think one of the biggest things I've enjoyed about interning with the society, um, probably, I want to say maybe the same like, as Naomi, probably being able to um, interact with our members, especially like um, at Bonenka last year, um, and, you know, being able to work events such as that. I had really never been to, you know, a, such an event like that. So it was really exciting. And of course, being able to, uh, you know, interact with, um, you know, our executive director, Yoshi-san, as well as like um, Maki-san and Mariko-san, you know, our other um, co-workers at the society, just those human interactions, I think, um, and being able to exchange languages with, um, you know, your co-workers is, is kind of like an intriguing thing for me, so. Well, good. I'm glad that uh, it's somewhat enjoyable, right? But uh, hopefully you guys can continue to have fun interning with us. Um, but uh, yeah, well, my final question to both of you, Naomi, uh, first to you. Um, is um, so. What are your some of your future aspirations? Um, what do you do, What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do after graduation? Um, well, I my aspirations is to like work in an embassy. Um, I'm trying to perfect my Japanese as well as my my Spanish so I can be trilingual. Um, but I I do want to get in. Um, help that bridge between South America, Japan, and the United States in some way. That's great. Well, um, hopefully, maybe you can be uh, 
ambassador or consul general of, of Peru or maybe a Peru <laughs> general ambassador to the U.S. and then have come Japan and be kind of uh, in the mix as well. So, uh, but yeah, we'll be rooting for you and we'll be supporting you every step of the way. Uh, Ebony, what about you? Future aspirations? What are you going to be when you grow up and after you graduate? Um, as far as after I graduate, I am looking into doing um, postgraduate postgraduate programs as well as like um, graduate school um, in Japan. And um, I would like to actually start my career life in Japan, hopefully be there for maybe 15, 20 years or so. And specifically speaking, at the moment, I'm kind of open to anything, but I'm I'm looking into working into one of these three fields, either um, in academia or um, maybe like with the embassy or government or hopefully like translation. So one of those three fields are, um, those are what kind of are piquing my interest right now. All right. So we might have uh, uh, two diplomats, future diplomats uh, with us today. So definitely uh, be nice to both Ebony and Naomi and maybe <laughs> we can help you out with uh U.S., Japan, Peruvian relations in the future, right? So, um, but one final, final question for both of you, since you guys are interning, uh, any kind of uh, words of wisdom or messages to uh, future interns that may be interested in working with the Japan American Society? Naomi? Um, <clears throat> this, the JST is such a open place. Um, don't be afraid of opening your ideas. Uh, or of creativity like I have um, especially with like the Instagram um, page that I got an idea and Yoshi-san helped me through getting this page and now um, I think our Instagram page is going very well um, so don't be afraid uh, talk your, uh, your ideas out and display your creativity and you'll be fine great thank you we definitely want um input of our interns and a lot of times Naomi um you know more about social media and especially <laughs> than, than me or my center or any one of us so um but thank you for your help and your words of wisdom uh Ebony what about you a any uh advice or suggestions for future interns I would say just to be flexible I mean like as an intern with JASG like even I was one with you guys, especially for six months, like I, we did like various things there, whether it was social media, whether it was like odd jobs around the office, whether it was, mm -hmm. um, I've always assisted Mariko san with like Nihongo Ego Kai and Kaiobi Kai. And then of course, with the whole, you know, um, pandemic thing, you know, having to switch from, you know, working in an office setting, like, you know, face to face and online. So if you can just be flexible, like that will just help you and make, your life easier, it'll make your coworkers' life easier. It'll definitely make your son's life easier. So <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very true and in any setting, right? So um be be flexible and be able to adapt in any kind of situation. That would take you a long way. So thank you, Ebony. Um, but yeah, so to both of you, Naomi, Ebony, thank you for your time. Uh, we'll look forward to continue working with you and uh, we'll be rooting for you every step of the way uh, as you move on from your internship and kind of get into the real world too. So but thank you again, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.